Hello everybody and welcome back for another VR rundown. Today we are checking out the story-driven fantasy adventure title Warhammer Age of Sigmar Tempest Fall. Now this is a title I wanted to love. It has a lot of redeeming qualities, but unfortunately the cons end up outweighing the pros. Now with some additional polish, this game could definitely shine, but in its current state, I was really disappointed. Now that was my little intro to set the tone of this video, but from here we'll break down everything with my standard review format, and I'll finish everything up with some narrated gameplay. There are links and timestamps available in the description if you want to jump around, but first up is the summary. Warhammer Age of Sigmar Tempest Fall is a story-driven fantasy adventure with minor RPG components. It's currently available on PC VR via Steam for $29.99. The campaign is roughly six to eight hours long without completing all the side missions. And an Oculus Quest version is also in production, but there's no ETA at the moment. Tempest Fall takes place in the lore-rich universe of Warhammer and has you traveling to a city which has been decimated by a necroquake. The outpour of necrotic energy has buildings in shambles, the majority of the population has already evacuated, and only the dead, aka the Night Haunt, remain. It's your job to not only cleanse the city of these creatures in Sigma's name, but also determine the cause of such a catastrophe. Now the storyline or overall level of immersion is not the issue with this game. In fact, it's refreshing to get story-driven content in VR, and the world itself is beautiful and highly immersive. Where the game suffers though is the combat and its overall lack of polish. Let's focus on the combat for now. While this is a physics-driven melee title, the overall implementation just feels poor. There's three separate weapons to choose from. Each starts with its own unique spell ability. The weapons can be upgraded for additional damage and also have two additional skills per weapon that can be unlocked. Playing a character in the Warhammer universe should of course be a power fantasy, but it just doesn't translate well here. Skeletons are no more than a minor nuisance, but you don't feel empowered while killing them, it's more like swatting away flies. The other main wraith-like enemy is also annoying to battle. Your normal attacks do little damage, so rather than trying to block and counter, which in itself feels a bit awkward, I simply walked backwards and continuously spam the same two spells. This made combat feel tedious, especially when revisiting areas. Enemy spawn points always remain the same, so if you clear an area and return to it later, the enemies will just spawn all over again. This is extra frustrating because all they do is slow your progression, and there's nothing to be gained from these battles. There's no experience earned, and they don't drop components to upgrade your equipment. So combat's not rewarding, tedious, and has you battling some pretty poor AI. Your greatest weapon against incorporeal flying creatures is their horrible pathfinding. They'll constantly get caught by doorways, corners, shrubbery, basically anything. Even though they're flying, they can't seem to float over objects, so you could just get them stuck and then spam them with ranged attacks. It's immersion breaking and quite honestly, pretty sad. Spells are gesture based, which felt nice, but wasn't as accurate as I would like it to be. And one of the attacks, which had you lunging forward, occasionally shot me in the wrong direction. Another immersion breaking aspect was the fact that your weapons clip through each other and the environment. I don't know why, but if I can't clank my weapons together, I'm instantly frustrated. Now, even with the bland combat, I was still enjoying this game until the bugs got the best of my experience. I was fine to overlook little things like skeletons seemingly floating across the floor, audio clips accidentally repeating or playing over one another, spell gestures not always working properly, and even falling through the floor on one occasion. But what I couldn't get past was when the entirety of my game progress was reset by a bug. I somehow managed to re-trigger an early in-game mission just by walking past a certain area. This reset all of my story progress back to that specific point. I have notified the developers and they have since resolved this issue, but the damage was done and I'm not willing to replay those lost hours. Now, like I said earlier though, it's not all bad news here. Graphically, this is a great looking game. The environments are highly immersive. I was curious to see how the storyline would progress. And with some updates, this can be a good game. I don't think it'll ever be a great game, but good is definitely within reach. The biggest bummer is I've seen fantasy adventure handled much better. If this had the action of something like Everslot or the mechanics of Legendary Tales, it could be an excellent game. But for now, it's bland combat and bugs mar an otherwise good title. So the next question is, do I recommend it? As you can most likely guess, 
I can't recommend this game right now unless you are an extreme Warhammer fan or you can easily overlook these issues I mentioned. If it gets a series of updates over the next few months, I definitely revisit this title, but for less than $30, there's a handful of other games I would recommend over this one that either offer more or are just more fun to play. So here's the verdict. Warhammer Age of Sigmar Tempest Fall is a story-driven fantasy adventure title that I wanted to love, but the cons just outweigh the pros. The bland combat, AI, and general lack of polish overshadow this great looking and environmentally immersive experience. Hopefully by the time it releases for the quest, they enhance this title and stamp out those bugs. The pros include excellent graphics and a lengthy story-driven campaign, but on the con side, we have a lack of polish, a series of bugs, and bland combat. So from here, let's jump into some narrated gameplay and I'll point out everything I previously mentioned. Things definitely start off well. There's some story-driven content. I'm hooked in and can't wait to experience more of this world. They give you a basic tutorial which goes over the mechanics and then very quickly you start to learn that combat is just okay. Here you can see a bunch of skeletons just kind of floating towards me. And here's a series of pathfinding issues. The creatures can't float over the water, and now they're stuck in a doorway. There's also not a very huge variety in enemies, and they all basically attack in the same manner. Now the game does reward exploration. There are upgrade resources hidden everywhere. The level design is excellent and features unlockable shortcuts like you find in Dark Soul titles. This helps avoid those never-ending enemy respawns, which like I said, become tedious. Now I love the lore of this game, the hulking characters, these elaborate fantasy magical items, but this scene right here just equated to go pull a lever three times. It didn't work. It didn't work again. Oh, third time's the charm. Tracing the etheric winds that went into the creation of this vile weapon. Rest in peace. Here's some of those lovely bugs I mentioned. My progression got stuck in this room. I needed to reload. And on the and after that second reload, everything was fine. Here I fell through the floor. And finally, this is how I managed to trigger a game resetting bug. All I did was walk past this area. And that's where we'll end this video. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you guys on next time. Speak with Mithras at the war table, Lord Arcanum. She said she found something in the...